Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. Welcome to a product focus Friday. This month we are playing with a pretty little studio stash I have and I pulled out these um, pretty little studio items from my stash. They're from the potpourri collection. It's kind of fallish kind of back to school but I mainly um, did it for the colors and for these adorable snails because I decided since this month we're playing with Pretty Little Studio but each week we're playing with something paper related and today is branding strips yes I saved branding strip the keyword is saved um, I don't save them as much anymore <laughs> but I do have a stash of them so I grabbed out some that were in similar colors uh, to use on this page and I have an idea and we'll see if it works out but I have this adorable photo of my son with his snail toy that he had when he was a baby um it was one of those Fisher Price toys that like transitioned to crawling whatever so it would like move but we loved it even just for the mirror aspect and it would sing if he if he would like talk to it it would start it would like trigger um, noises and it lights so we loved it it was great for tummy time he always stared into it and talked to it it was like one of my favorite things so I have this photo of that that I wanted to document but I was gonna try and do something with the background branding strips and these are all in squares four by four squares kind of create a graphic pattern in the back with my strips and these papers was my thought so I gotta find a um gotta find a 12 by 12 paper to put these on and I might just dig in my stash and my scrap bin here to like matte photo and that kind of thing but then we've got all these cute little stickers um to embellish with and I'm sure I can find some other things to embellish with I have plenty in my stash so we shall dig through there so let me go hop over to my scrap bin or my stash bin and see what I've got for a 12 by 12 that we could use I thought about wood grain but I have some wood grain papers in here but I could just ditch that and do a wood grain that actually would look really cute yeah, I think I'll do that. I'll go grab a wood grain and I'll be back. I'm leaning towards something like this and I'm kind of liking it. Um, yeah, I kind of want to start gluing some of these down. And then as I trim the excess off, I can always add those colors elsewhere. But I'm liking the colors that I've got going. Uh, I'm trying to think if I should add another one at all. I kind of want to add this one somewhere. but um, I don't necessarily need to. And I'm not using as many branding strips as I hope. Uh, there's also that. Yeah, I don't need that one. Yeah, I'm, like, I'm liking this combo. Okay, let me glue down what we got, because I'm liking it, and then um, get my photo matted, and we'll go from there. Okay, just wanted to check in and show you I grabbed these out these are take me away from pink paisley page Evans um just because they're mirrored and this is a mirror so I thought that would be uh be kind of fun so I think I'm gonna do sweet and then either just life or sweet conversations or um might just be sweet life and then I'll kind of decorate like this square a little bit here and then I can journal on that one that's kind of my plan okay let me get these glued down and we'll see what happens all right I'm really liking the way this is looking I just backed my photo simply in it's like a craft polka dot cardstock just to make it stand a little bit I was debating where to put my photo and where to put my title I don't want to cover up all the things that I just I want I don't want everything to see I don't want things to seem um segregate you know like separate segregated I want it to seem cohesive so I'm debating where to put my title but I feel like it needs to be contained in one of these squares 
just seems like it should be. Kind of leaning towards this. And then I can still journal. And that way I think the journaling doesn't seem like disconnected, if that makes sense. Or I could stick the title down here as well. I just didn't like it kind of just over here. And then we can definitely use um, some of these little flowers. That was my thought. Um, let's see. Let's get out some of these critters. Are these clear stickers or are they white? That's what I gotta figure out. They're white, okay. thinking about doing that. Oh, I kind of, I really like that with the title. So I think we'll leave the title down in this square. We'll get it lined up better. I think I'm going to pop my photo up on foam. So let's do that while we're thinking of it. And then I'll dig in my stash and see whatever else the heck we can figure out. But at least um, I feel like I've accomplished what I wanted to accomplish. Use a bunch of branding strips. Not as many as I really would have loved to use. Um, but used a few up. And used some titles that I haven't used. So that's always a good thing. And used Braille Studio. Okay. Let me finish getting this. I'm gonna go through these stickers and see what else I can plug in places, glue my um, little flowers down and my title down. See what else I can come up with. I don't think, I don't really want, I like little snails. Um, I could do some little mushrooms too with my flower clusters. That would be kind of cute. <clears throat> All right, let me glue some of this stuff down and we'll go from there. Okay, so I've decided I don't really wanna add anything else. I'm liking the design and I kinda of don't wanna mess with it. So I'm gonna grab, I grabbed this Ellie Studio Love This Smile stamp set. There's a happiness captured stamp. I'm gonna stamp it right at the top of this. Um, or maybe right here. And stamp it in a card. Color. I'm trying to decide what color. I wonder if I'll just do a darker pink, like festive berries or something. And um, I don't know if I want it. Do I want it here or here? Or maybe down there. Ah, I need to find more stamps. That might have to be what I do, is find more stamps. That would be so horrible, right? Um, yeah, I think I am going to do more stamps. I think we'll do happiness captured down here. Perfect. Okay, 
point sequins. And then I think I'm just going to add some white nouveau drops in some places. But yeah, I think we're going to do some stamping of some phrases. Um, I like the story behind this photo, but I don't know if that really... I could and I'm just taking this is a Tombow sand eraser to prime my stamps I used to just rub them on my arm um, I found this works amazing amazing so I've been doing that oh that looks amazing okay could have been a little crisper but I like it This corner needs to get glued down. Then I feel like I need to add, oh, geez, I got more of these whirly gigs left. Oh, I kind of like that though. Maybe I will take some of these out. I feel like I need to put a stamp down here though or something. What do you think? Maybe I don't need to do a Nuvo drops either. these guys down stamped that crooked I think cuz the whole cards crooked but you know it's, it's my it's my page so we know I made it now um, yeah do I need I feel like I need stamp somewhere over here I just don't know what. We mm, could do some of these. These are Studio Calico. I don't think I need to do, I don't know if I want to do Nouveau Drops too. I think I just need journal. So I'm going to journal and get you some close-ups. And that's all we got. Thank you guys so much for watching. And we'll see you next time. Bye.